So DC right now is doing some great things that have a lot of people asking the question, could the new DCU be better than Marvel? Now, we're talking about the current state of Marvel, and in a perfect world, both DC and Marvel would be on the same level, and we could just get good movies from both of the universes. That way, everything would be awesome. Unfortunately, it's not been like that. If you look at the past many years, it's really not been like that. But now, DC is in a really good position under James Gunn and Peter Safran, and a lot of people are really excited about its future, and... DC is making some decisions that are really, really good. Some decisions that Marvel Studios just hasn't made recently. And fans are excited. Fans are really, really excited for the new DCU. And, you know, fans are also kind of really worried as, you know, is expected. So I asked everybody how they felt on Twitter. I posed the question, genuinely curious who is excited for the new DC universe coming under James Gunn and Peter Safran. One comment said, after they announced the new Supergirl yesterday, kind of excited, which of course we will get into. Another comment says, I am. It has the potential to be great. I have faith in James Gunn. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous because the DCEU had potential too, and that didn't pan out. But I do think James Gunn can deliver an awesome cinematic universe, which I do as well. Another comment says, couldn't be more excited. I think this is going to be something special. All the haters can just look at the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise and see where James Gunn took that. Enough said. And that's a really good point. The Guardians of the Galaxy movies were just, yes, they were awesome. They were great. They really were great movies. Some of the best to come from Marvel and some of the best to come from James Gunn. Absolutely. And James Gunn is now in charge of DC. So yeah. Hopefully that means we're about to get a lot of good stuff. Now the person said, I'm very excited. I hope you do more DCU video soon. Right now. Here's a good one. Looking forward to it more than anything Marvel's got going on, excluding Deadpool 3, which I totally get. Deadpool 3 sounds amazing, first and foremost, but Marvel has pushed a lot of stuff back. They're doing a lot of rewrites, seemingly because they didn't have a lot of faith in their current projects, but now... DC's got a lot on their plate, and we're going to talk about the upcoming Batman casting really soon, but they just did Supergirl there. James Gunn did a whole entire update on the state of the DCU. It sounds really good. We'll get into that as well, but fans are really, really excited. They're really excited, but of course you have the, the fans who the DCEU kind of ruined it for them. One fan says, as soon as James Gunn rebooted everything, I knew it was time for me to leave DC Cinematic Universe. I don't want to hear what they have to offer. I give up on them, and I understand where the frustration is coming from, absolutely, after what happened with the DCEU, and how The Rock was supposed to revitalize it, and then all of a sudden James Gunn and Peter Safran got hired, then he's out. Yeah, I, I totally get the frustration there, but the reboot to me makes it seem just better. Clean slate, make great movies from the start, and we have a revitalized DC universe. I think it's got a lot of potential. Now here's a big comment. I'm excited for story over agenda. I agree, and I think that's a big differentiator between what DC is doing right now, what Marvel has been doing recently. And Disney overall, if you haven't caught my video on the new Star Wars director, please be sure to check that out after this video. It explains a lot. But basically, DC, James Gunn, is going and they're actually making really good decisions. They're making great decisions with their casting. The Supergirl casting is amazing. And first and foremost, I think they're putting story First, and not just stories for their individual projects, but the overall universe. Let me explain what I mean by that. If you haven't heard recently, James Gunn has cast Millie Alcock as Supergirl. Phenomenal casting, incredible casting, a great choice. Here's what James Gunn said. In case you missed this exciting news yesterday, strangely, Millie was the first person I brought up to Peter for this role well over a year ago when I had only read the comics. I was watching House of the Dragon and thought she might have the edge, grace, and authenticity we needed for the DCU Supergirl, and now here we are. Life is wild sometimes. I love how he put that. She might have the edge, grace, and authenticity we needed for the DCU Supergirl. That's what mattered to him. No agenda, just she has what it takes to be a good, a great, a perfect Supergirl in the DCU. And she's experienced. Marvel and Disney sometimes hires actors who have never acted before. Sometimes it works out, like Kamala Khan, 
Aman Vellani plays a perfect Miss Marvel slash Kamala Khan. That worked out, but sometimes it doesn't. Enough said on that. This is a great decision for DC. But here's the deal. Some people are thinking that this casting is really, really weird, not because of who they picked, but because of the fact that the Supergirl movie does not have a director yet. So a lot of people think it's really weird that the director would not cast the person that they're going to be directing or at least be involved with it. But James Gunn isn't casting just for the Supergirl movie. He's casting for the DC universe. That's something you have to keep in mind that I think is brilliant by James Gunn. He's not casting for a specific movie. He is looking way forward and thinking about everything he has planned for the DCU, the Justice League, all the characters meeting each other, you know? That's how you should do it. Not just focusing on one movie to push an agenda, one project to push an agenda, but focus on actually making good stories and connecting them in a giant connected cinematic universe, which is what we love. That's what we loved about Marvel and what DC can do with James Gunn. And fans are pumped for this casting. They really are. Here's what some fans are saying. Supergirl is one of my favorite characters of all time. You have no idea how excited I am to see her in the role and what y'all have planned. Can't wait. Neil Gaiman himself said, wonderful news, she's amazing. And if you're not familiar with who Neil Gaiman is, he has wrote some amazing comics for both DC and Marvel. Another comment says, you should have seen her in The Crucible in London's West End. She was excellent and really showed her acting chops amongst the others. See, one thing I love about all of these comments is just that they're just about her as an actress. People are excited that a talented actress is coming aboard to play an amazing character. That's it, no agenda, nothing's behind it, just a good casting choice and people are excited about it. It's pretty great, honestly it really is. And I think she's gonna do an incredible job. Now recently, if you haven't heard, we've got news that they're actually going to be casting their Batman soon and this is a big one. This is, this is really, really big. The Superman casting was great, the Supergirl casting is great, but Batman is like, oof, you really need to nail the Batman. The patents and conversations were something. But now we have a whole new universe that's going to be connected. The potential for it is so, so good. Who are they going to get to play Batman? According to Charles Murphy from murphysmultiverse.com, they imply that Batman is the next major DCU role that will be cast with a casting call going out very soon. That was a few days ago. So DC is about to cast their Batman. Everything's really going pretty smoothly with DC. In fact, James Gunn just recently did an update for the DCU. He stated, One year ago today, Peter Safran and I introduced our DC slate for the first time. Thanks to all of you for the support you've given us throughout the year. Today, Superman Legacy is about to start production. Episodes of Creature Commandos are being finished that will release later this year. At least two more projects are gearing up to go in the next couple of months. Amazing scripts keep coming in and incredible talent are being attached to new projects. Planned and unplanned. Thank you. Planned and unplanned, meaning the DCU slate that they showed us might actually be a little bit different as far as some other projects that aren't announced might be a part of the slate, which is really exciting to think about. But according to James Gunn, everything is going really, really well over at DC and they're making a lot of great decisions right now. The casting choices so far have been fantastic and James Gunn seems to just be focused on making good stories and getting the best people he can possibly think of who are experienced attached to these projects. It's really all we could ask for right now. One person commented, as a DC fan, I can't express how much happy I am. A comic book fan like you is the best thing that happened to DC in a long time. Can't wait to see all the new projects that this new DCU brings and what big event those movies and series leads to. Yeah, I mean, that's the deal, right? He is experienced and is a true fan. That's something Disney has been missing recently. They've just been hiring people to check a bunch of boxes. You know what I mean? They do that. Don't get me wrong, there's some good choices made by Marvel, obviously, but first and foremost, and I've been stating this for a while, they need to focus on good storytelling and getting people who actually know the material to write the stories. That's what DC is doing right now. James Gunn's a fan. He's a super fan. He knows the material. So everything that he's doing, he is super involved in, and he's making sure the other people that are involved know the stuff as well and are really, really good at what they do. So overall, I'm really excited for the DCU. And yeah, if these decisions lead to amazing projects and Marvel keeps kind of fumbling, 
we might have a better DCU than we do a Marvel Cinematic Universe, in which I don't hope is the case. I hope both are really, really good, and we live in an awesome superhero time in life. That's that's the goal, at least, for that to come true, for Marvel and DC to be great. But a lot of people right now are thinking DC might be better than Marvel in the near future. But let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. Are you excited for the new DC Universe, or are you scared? Let me know and please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date on the DCU and of course other awesome pop culture news. That's what we'll be talking about. Catch you on the next video.